Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Haunting Harmony In the small town of Ravenshade, nestled deep within the dense woods, lived a renowned musician named Adrian Leclerc. His passion for music led him to explore hidden corners of the world in search of unique instruments and melodies. One fateful day, while browsing an old curio shop in a forgotten alley, Adrian stumbled upon an instrument that would change his life forever. The shopkeeper, an enigmatic figure with sunken eyes and a voice that seemed to echo from the depths of the unknown, presented Adrian with an instrument like no other. It was a violin, but its frame was made from a mysterious black wood that seemed to absorb the light around it. The strings, however, were the most unsettling part they appeared to be made from delicate strands of silver, shimmering with an otherworldly glow. Legend had it that this instrument was crafted from the bones of a legendary composer, Victor Blackthorn, who had vanished mysteriously centuries ago. The instrument was said to channel Blackthorn's spirit when played, creating a haunting melody that transcended the realms of the living. Adrian, drawn by the allure of the unknown, purchased the violin without a second thought. As he played the first notes, a chilling wind swept through the room, extinguishing candles and leaving an eerie silence in its wake. Unbeknownst to Adrian, the spirit of Victor Blackthorn had awakened, and a malevolent force now coexisted within the strings of the instrument. Night after night, Adrian found himself compelled to play the haunting melodies that emanated from the violin. The haunting harmony grew more sinister with each passing day, as if Blackthorn's spirit sought to reclaim the music he had lost in life. The once vibrant town of Ravenshit now fell under a suffocating shroud of darkness, and whispers of spectral apparitions echoed through the streets. Adrian's life spiraled into a dissonant nightmare. His waking hours were consumed by an insatiable desire to play the violin, while his dreams were plagued by the anguished face of Victor Blackthorn. The haunting duet between the living and the dead became an inescapable reality, blurring the lines between sanity and madness. As the malevolent force within the instrument tightened its grip, Ravenshade descended into chaos. Shadows danced along the moonlit streets, and ethereal whispers echoed through the decaying alleys. The town's folk, gripped by an unseen terror, abandoned their homes, leaving behind a ghost town haunted by the discordant symphony of Adrian's violin and black thorns tormented spirit. Adrian, now a mere vessel for the supernatural, sought answers from the mysterious shopkeeper who had introduced him to the cursed violin. The shop, however, had vanished into thin air, leaving behind nothing but an empty alley than the lingering scent of malevolence. As the final notes of the haunting harmony echoed through the desolate town, Ravenshade succumbed to the darkness that clung to Adrian's every breath. The cursed violin, now silent, lay abandoned on the deserted streets, waiting for another unwitting soul to unleash the spectral duet that transcended the boundaries of life and death. Years passed, and Ravenshade became little more than a ghostly memory on the outskirts of collective consciousness. The cursed violin, now a relic of malevolence, found its way into the hands of another unsuspecting musician. The cycle repeated, and the haunting harmony reverberated once again, breathing life into the desolation that clung to Ravenshade. The new owner, a violin virtuoso named Isabella Sterling, discovered the instrument in an antique shop on the outskirts of a neighboring town. Drawn to its enigmatic aura, she felt an irresistible pull to unlock the secrets hidden within its silver strings and blackened wood. Unaware of the town's grim history, Isabella embraced the violin with an eagerness that mirrored Adrian's earlier fascination. As Isabella's fingers danced over the strings, a familiar chilling wind swept through the room. The echoes of Victor Blackthorn's tormented spirit stirred once again, intertwining with Isabella's music in a haunting duet. Unseen eyes watched from the shadows, and ethereal whispers enveloped her senses. Isabella, like Adrian before her, became entangled in the spectral web that connected the living and the dead. The town of Ravenshade, though forgotten by the world, continued to exist in a state of perpetual twilight. Isabella's haunting melodies echoed through the deserted streets, drawing the attention of lingering spirits. The spectral remnants of the once thriving community began to materialize, their forms flickering in and out of existence like shadows in the moonlight. Isabella, driven by an unseen force, delved into the history of the cursed violin. Her research led her to the decaying remnants of Ravenshade, where the atmosphere hung heavy with the unresolved anguish of lost souls. 
In the dilapidated ruins, she discovered the remnants of Adrian Lickler's existence, a forsaken diary chronicling his descent into madness. Driven by a desperate need to break free from the haunting harmony, Isabella sought to uncover the truth behind Victor Blackthorne's fate. In the heart of Ravenshade, she stumbled upon a hidden chamber beneath the ruins of an old mansion, where the cursed violence creation had taken place centuries ago. The chamber, adorned with faded symbols and ancient manuscripts, revealed the dark pact Victor Blackthorne had made with an otherworldly entity. It spoke of the insatiable thirst for artistic perfection that had led Blackthorne to craft an instrument from his very bones, binding his soul to an eternity of torment. As Isabella pieced together the fragments of the past, the malevolent force within the violin intensified. The shadows in Ravenshade deepened, and the spirits of the forsaken town became more corporeal, their silent screams echoing through the chamber. Determined to sever the spectral ties that bound her to Victor Blackthorne's legacy, Isabella devised a risky plan. Armed with newfound knowledge and a resolve that echoed through her music, she confronted the entity within the violin. The haunting duet reached its crescendo as Isabella's melodies clashed with the anguished spirit of Victor Blackthorne. In a blinding burst of ethereal energy, the cursed violin shattered into countless pieces. The force that had bound Ravenshade to the shadows dissipated, and the spirits found solace in the release from centuries of torment. Isabella, drained but victorious, emerged from the ruins as the first rays of dawn painted the sky. Ravenshade, freed from the haunting harmony that had plagued it for centuries, began to crumble into dust, its existence fading like a forgotten dream. Isabella, carrying the weight of the town's history in her heart, left the decaying remnants behind, forever changed by the supernatural symphony she had orchestrated. As Isabella ventured into the world beyond Ravenshire, the fragments of the cursed violin scattered across the winds, carried to distant corners of the earth. The haunting harmony, now silenced, became a mere whisper in the owls of time, a cautionary tale for those who dared to dance on the thin line between passion and the supernatural. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.